Hello guys, uh, welcome to the first, well, the second modded episode of Minecraft. And this, I'm sorry it took so long to show you guys one of my mods. I've just been dealing, I've just been making a lot of pictures in the mod creator wasn't working so I found out uh, a loophole around it and yeah so so now you just on okay so and today I will meet okay now, you're just thinking, uh, why does this guy has, have, like, a lot of custom purple things in his inventory? Well, it's my new character's possessions. What I'm trying to say is, this is what... I would make, well, I would totally tone down the powers of all of the items, but just a tiny bit. And, and then I would, I would play this character. So, JLab Sip is this overlord of the Dream SMP. He would be if he, if I was, if I joined the Dream SMP, he would be this overlord who accomplished his one goal, controlling the land. And it was once called the JSMP, but Dream, one day a warrior so strong, um, uh, Oh God, uh, a warrior so strong, they literally just beat him. Not, it, 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 his name was Dream. And he took over the whole Dream SMP, calling it, for, or calling it, the, well, what it's called now, Dream SMP. So, Jaylap Sep would obviously be mad, and so he's just, he's looking for these artifacts, because before Dream took him down, Dream, um, Jaylap Sep was looking for these artifacts, like legendary potions, swords, shields, all that other types of, all these different types of mystical godlike weapons. And he was looking for them. And his first finding was the, was a potion that could, well, potion recipe. A potion re recipe that had the ability to tell person how to make a mind altering potion so it could be used to take away memories uh to add new ones yeah so he used that on every on everyone when so he used that when dream was the most vulnerable and then hid in the shadows because he knew that Dream was stronger than him now, so he had to get all of these weapons, armors, uh, godlike items. So he wanted to become the god of the S of the Dream S and P, and he wanted it to be the J S and P again. And 
yeah, that's, and he's been doing this for so long, like, he's been collecting these artifacts for so long, and just wants to, he just wants to get, the, he just wants to get all of them, but there are almost, there are tens of thousands of them in this new universe. So there's not only the Revive book, but when he was looking at his list of Dream S&P uh, artifacts, he was looking for the Revive book next, after he got this, this sword. He recolored it, of course, but then Jay Schlatt gained his hands on the the Book of Revival, and he was pretty mad at that. So he was going to come and kill Jay Schlatt and get the book back, well, get the book. But then doomsday happened, so he really didn't have to do anything. But he, but he noticed that that Jay Schlatt did not drop his book, and he used his potion of invisibility and just just spied on. All the other members, wow, Jay Schlatt just had a heart attack and, and died. And he was surprised like everyone else. So, then, so he just keeps on going. Because he has no idea where to get the revival book now. He doesn't know. But until one day, he got his hands on the on one of these mystical items called the Sword of the Mind. The Sword of the Mind. Yep. He found this Sword of the Mind, colored it with his with his favorite color purple, and he found out that Shreem had the revival book knowledge. So he was ready to go after Dream with his overpowered swords, his overpowered equipment. He was ready to, to actually kill Dream. But Tommy and Topo got to him first, and they obviously got destroyed. But then all of the, like the end game scene, everyone comes out to get Dream, and they take him down to one life, and now, and then she, he, Dream is sent to this prison, he's sent into this prison, and j -Lab Sip does not know what to do, j -Lab Sip is just, like, like, he can't get into that prison that Dream made, and he, finds it really, really funny that that he ended up in his own creation dream. So he's planning on how to get into that prison right now. So that's so all of the other events happen. I just added what J Lab Sip was doing. So this guy is very he's He's clever, he's pretty smart, and so take him as Thanos, but take away the limit of how many stones he can get, and not make the stones stones, make them into random things, and then take him down a peg to a regular person. That's what Jay, 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 Lapsip 
I almost say J Star. But no, it's J God Simp. So yeah. I hope you guys like the lore I'm making for a what if scenario if I came into the you know, this dream as a P I would try to get this in, but probably not. Probably not even gonna into Dream SMP anyway, so don't have to worry about that. So let's do this. So the J Lap Sip God Sword. It does how much damage again? Oh yeah, nine hundred and ninety nine nine hundred and ninety nine damage. And it gives you strength fifty 255 it gives you speed 255 it gives you insane jump boost it gives you region 225 no 55 and resistance 255 so with this sword I'm basically saying that J Lab said can't die okay and the bow <sighs> Oh my god. Where do I even begin with this? Well, probably by hitting the rabbit. There we go. So, j Sip has this overpowered bow. There it is. It's just what it says. Overpowered. It is a bow. It's... One of his most strongest ranged weapons. I'm saying 1 through 25. Most strongest. Flying Hammer. It gives j Sip a little bit of a buff in health. So he can take slightly more damage than other people can. And he can fly. And, uh, okay, that was a stupid move. Okay, time to get my stuff. <sighs> Whatever, let me just go back. Wonderful. Okay, so, where was I before I... I interrupted myself. Come on. Oh, I have the boomerang. Yeah, just another one of his crazy, uh, overpowered weapons. And... Hold on. Sword. Will do. <sighs> what? Am I just gone? Oh. So, the boomerang. I'm so overpowered, I can't even fight. But j Sip has trained with his overpowered weapons for years, decades. Getting close to that, uh, he's halfway to that century mark. So he has a lot of training experience. So I would put him at the levels of, 
of like like sapnap and dream skills drafts like like that. Okay. And and last let me just I gotta go in creative guys. Last he has a a crown that gives him the same powers as the sword does. But instead he can just kill any of the members with his fist. The only members that can even come close to even putting a dent into J-Lab Sip because of all of his power would have to be Dream XD. Yeah, a literal god. Okay, now let's get the stuff. Nope, okay. Really? Okay. No. There we go. And. Yep. And that has been the add-on, you guys. Hope you guys liked it. I, I certainly have. It's been, it's been easy to make this. But if you guys want a, a, a round two where I tell lore to you guys of the continuing of j -Lab Sip and where he is now so goodbye and i will see you all uh i will see you all tomorrow yeah today's a wednesday so i will see you guys tomorrow i'm working on new songs and a new rap i'm trying i'm going to be trying that for my 10th song which is actually in my next song so you guys will be seeing that probably not this week probably next week so yeah i will see you guys uh later don't, hit, don't forget to hit the like button hit that Subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And I've been your host, Shay Lapsep, and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>